in the early morning, as you sip your favorite coffee and scroll through messages. You're suddenly hit with words that feel like a splash of cold water, someone's harsh comment, or an unkind gesture. Just like that, your day seems a bit less bright. Facing toxic people is a challenge we all encounter, but how we respond can entirely shift the dynamics. Have you ever noticed how sometimes a single negative comment can cling to your thoughts longer than a compliment? It's like a stain on your favorite shirt that refuses to wash out. Here is where your power lies, in the ability to see that stain and decide not to let it ruin your shirt or your day. It's about understanding that these harsh moments reflect less about you and more about the other person's internal battles and insecurities. In his meditations, Marcus Aurelius offered timeless wisdom when another person blames you or hates you or people voice similar criticisms. Go to their souls, penetrate inside, and see what sort of people they are. You will realize that there is no need to be racked with anxiety, that they should hold any particular opinion about you. This perspective invites us to look beyond surface interactions and understand the deeper motivations behind others' actions. This moment of confrontation with negativity also presents a unique opportunity for self-reflection. So, I challenge you to dive inward, stripping away the layers of expectations and societal masks. What truths about yourself have been shadowed by others' judgments? Are you allowing someone else's negativity to define your day or your worth? Let's embark on this journey of self-discovery together, finding strategies to not only deal with toxic individuals, but also to strengthen our sense of self-awareness. You've likely met someone in your life who just seems to push all the wrong buttons, right? We often call these people toxic because they spread negativity like a cloud of smoke, making it hard to see clearly. But what if I told you there's a way to clear the air and navigate through this smoke without losing your way? It all starts with self-awareness. Just like knowing you're allergic to smoke makes you avoid it. Understanding your responses to toxic people can empower you to keep your distance emotionally. It reminds me of a lesson from an old fencing master who taught his students that the real skill in fencing wasn't just in attacking, but in knowing precisely when to dodge. Each time a toxic person lashes out, picture yourself executing a perfect side step. You don't absorb the blow because you're aware of your own boundaries and you respect them enough not to let anyone cross. This doesn't require anger or a counterattack, just a quiet, uncheckable knowledge of who you are. Turning this understanding into a part of your daily life isn't as hard as you might think. Consider it like tying your shoes. In the beginning, it's something you have to focus on, but eventually, it becomes second nature. When dealing with negativity, take a step back and ask yourself, why does this bother me? Or what can I learn from this? These questions aren't about making excuses for others, but about reinforcing your own mental fortitude. Take a moment to understand that this path will not be free of obstacles. Self-awareness and navigating through the smoke of others' negativity is no fairy tale. There will be days when it feels easier to just react, to throw back what was thrown at you. But that's a fleeting victory, one that feels hollow because it betrays who you are. Each time you choose to respond rather than react, remember you're not doing it because it's the easy choice, but because it's the right one for you. This is about building a fortress within yourself, not from arrogance, but from a place of strength and calm. It's not about ignoring the negativity, but acknowledging it without letting it define your actions. So, embrace the challenge. It sharpens you, makes you more resilient, and in the long run, undeniably stronger. Two forgiveness and memory. Turn your gaze toward the sky. Do you notice how stars shine bright despite the encircling darkness? Think of these stars as people who add value to your life, illuminating your path with understanding and empathy. On the other hand, you may come across black holes, a representation of toxic individuals who pull you into their darkness, stripping you of your joy and energy. Now comes the question, is there a way to navigate this cosmic dance of relationships without getting sucked into these black holes? Picture yourself as a spaceship, fueled not by hydrogen, but courage and wisdom. This courage is your forgiveness, the power cell that absolves people of their faults and lets you soar higher than any toxic influence. It disentangles you from the gravity of resentment that chains you to painful memories and grudges. Yet every spaceship needs a navigational system. This is your memory, the keeper of life's lessons, the silent whisper in your ear reminding you to 
take a detour when a known black hole looms in your flight path. The truth is, our past encounters with toxicity aren't shackles. They are points on a star map guiding us toward safer orbits. Every lesson learned from dealing with a toxic individual, every overpowering emotion felt, becomes a beacon reminding us what to avoid and helping shape our interactions. This combination of forgiveness and memory is the compass guiding us through the complex constellation of relationships. Bearing these thoughts in mind, I ask you to ponder on your journey through this celestial dance of relationships. Through whom do you see the brilliance of a star? And from whom do you need to divert like a black hole? Use your forgiveness as fuel that propels you forward and let your memory help you navigate to avoid repeating the same pattern in the dance of relationships. In this intricate ballet of life, let us aspire to be the spaceship that forges its path through cosmic chaos with refined grace, driven by the power of forgiveness and guided by the wisdom of memory. 3. Emotional Stability Navigating life surrounded by toxic individuals can feel like trekking through a dense fog. You lose sight of where you're headed, and every step feels uncertain. But what if I told you there's a way to clear the fog? It starts from within, through the strength of emotional stability cultivated by Stoicism. Think about that one person who, no matter the chaos, never seems ruffled like a mountain standing firm against the raging storm. This isn't about being indifferent or cold. It's about recognizing that the only thing truly under our control is how we respond to the outside world. Stoicism teaches us that our power lies in our reaction, not in trying to control the uncontrollable. So when faced with toxicity, we channel our inner stoic. Instead of engaging in the drama, we pause. It's like being in the eye of the hurricane. Everything's wild on the outside, but here it's calm. This space allows us to breathe, think, and then act from a place of rational calmness. It's about shifting focus from what's happening around us to how we're going to let it affect our inner peace. And how do we do this? By practicing mindfulness. Yes, it's tossed around a lot these days, but here's the real kicker, it works. Mindfulness lets us detach, observe the chaos without getting sucked in. It's not about ignoring the toxicity, but acknowledging it without letting it dictate our peace. It's realizing that much like clouds in the sky, these moments will pass. So the next time you find yourself in the midst of negativity, remember, you're the architect of your peace. Build it strong. 4. Setting Boundaries Imagine stepping into a world where every interaction you have is like a brushstroke on the canvas of your day. Some strokes are vibrant and uplifting, enhancing the beauty of your existence. Then there are those dark, heavy, and inconsistent strokes left by toxic people in your life. These interactions don't just leave a mark. They alter the entire masterpiece of your day, your mood, and even your self-perception. Now, think about ancient Stoics. They were masters of their own minds, not by avoiding adversity, but by fortifying their inner walls. They knew that not every opinion, critique, or negative energy deserved their attention. What if I told you that dealing with toxic people could be approached with the same stoicism? It's not about building an impenetrable wall, but about choosing which gates to open and when. This selective openness doesn't make you less of a person. It makes you a curator of your own peace. Picture your energy as a limited, precious resource, like water in a desert. Every interaction you partake in is like giving a drop of that water away. Now, would you rather give it to someone who plants seeds in your desert, making it bloom? Or to someone who lets it evaporate under the scornful sun? Setting boundaries is about investing your energy wisely, not with arrogance or disdain, but with the calm resolve of a stoic who knows their worth and the value of their time. So, let's move forward with this mindset. View each day as an opportunity to paint your masterpiece, to invest your energy where it grows wonders. Remember, respecting yourself enough to set boundaries is not an act of aggression. It's an act of self-respect and wisdom. Start today not by cutting people out, but by delineating where your garden ends and the wild begins. And watch how the landscape of your life transforms. If this video is resonating with you, let us know in the comments and give it a like to spread its message. And don't forget to hit subscribe for more insights. 5. Energy Intelligence Ever find yourself sharing space with someone whose energy feels like a thunderstorm, turning your sunny day upside down? 
Navigating the choppy waters of interactions with toxic people can test the calmest of minds. But let's turn the lens inward and explore the concept of energy intelligence as our compass. Think of your energy as a protective barrier, much like an ancient city wall. Something that preserves your peace and keeps out unwelcome negativity. Now, consider for a moment the power of choice in these situations. Just as you decide what fuel to put in your car, determining its performance and longevity. You hold the power to select how you react and engage with energy-draining individuals. Responding with patience and understanding, or choosing not to engage at all can be your superfuel. Optimizing your emotional well-being and keeping you on a steady course. Harnessing this intelligence goes beyond mere self-control. It's about creating a space around you that is so grounded, even the Midas storm can't shake your foundation. Like a tree deeply rooted in the earth, you are immovable, not because the wind doesn't blow around you, but because you've mastered the art of bending and swaying with it without breaking. This strength and flexibility disarm toxic energy, leaving it no choice but to dissipate or move along. Now, I invite you to reflect on how you've been managing your energy in the face of adversity. Think about those moments when you felt overwhelmed by someone else's negativity. How did you respond? Did you let their storm cloud your sky? Or did you shine even brighter, guiding both of you back to calm? This journey isn't about becoming unaffected. It's about recognizing that within you lies a reservoir of strength and wisdom ready to face any challenge that comes your way. Pause, breathe, and remind yourself of the power you hold. Moving forward, how will you channel this energy intelligence to not just protect your peace, but also to light the way for others? Remember, the real test of your inner strength isn't how you avoid the storm, but how you dance in the rain. 6. Focus on goals. You know when you set your eyes on something you really want. Perhaps it's mastering a new skill, reaching a fitness goal, or even advancing in your personal projects. It feels like you're on a clear path, right? But then unexpectedly, you encounter people or situations that dampen your spirit. These encounters can throw you off, almost like a gust of wind redirecting a paper airplane. It's disheartening, to say the least. Take the story of Jordan, for instance. Jordan was all in on starting a small online business. The skepticism from friends and family came in waves, some doubting out loud, others subtly recommending safer paths. It's a scenario many of us are familiar with. Instead of getting embroiled in fruitless debates or attempting to validate his ambitions, Jordan concentrated on refining his skills, broadening his knowledge and building his business one step at a time. What can we learn from Jordan's journey? A steadfast belief in one's vision and a refusal to let negativity detour one's path. This segues into how we deal with toxic people, a skill that requires finesse. The Stoics were onto something profound. They focused on what's within our control and, let's face it, altering others isn't in that category. However, managing our response to them is well within our grasp. It's about maintaining a mental barrier, ensuring negativity doesn't penetrate and cloud our judgment or spirits. Imagine a raincoat during a downpour. It doesn't stop the rain, but keeps you dry. That's the kind of resilience we're after. So the next time you find yourself facing skepticism or negativity regarding your plans or ambitions, think of Jordan. Redirect your energy not into convincing detractors, but into fortifying your own path. Offer a smile, a nod, and carry on with your endeavors. You have goals to meet, and no amount of negativity deserves to occupy space in your thoughts without paying rent. Embrace stoicism, focus on your actions, enjoy the process, and allow the descent to become a mere whisper in the background. It's your journey, and you're the sole navigator of your path. 7. Seeking Support Every once in a while, we bump into someone who seems to challenge our peace of mind on every possible level. You know those people whose presence feels like a storm cloud on a sunny day. It's like you're stuck in quicksand. The harder you struggle to maintain your calm, the deeper you sink into frustration or anger. This is the complex dynamic we often find ourselves in when dealing with toxic individuals. It's a test of our patience, but more importantly, of our stoicism. 
But let's take a closer look at how reaching out for support in these situations doesn't show weakness. It reveals wisdom. Much like how a single candle can break the darkness. Sharing your struggles with someone who understands can light up paths you didn't see before. These are the people who add strength to our resolve, not by fighting our battles for us, but by reminding us of the power of our own mental fortitude. Imagine having a wise elder in your corner, offering advice drawn from a well of experience. That's the kind of invaluable support that can help us navigate through the toxicity with grace. To harness the stoic strength within us, we need to recognize when external perspectives can help us. It's about understanding that while we can't control the actions of others, we can certainly control our reactions to them. Through the art of stoicism, we learn to detach, to see the situation from a higher perspective. It's like zooming out on a map to find alternative routes we might have missed while being zoomed in. In seeking support, we allow ourselves the space to breathe, reflect, and choose our responses carefully, ensuring they align with our values and sense of peace. Now, take a moment to think about your own encounters with challenging individuals. How have you navigated these waters? Have you tried to go it alone, relying solely on your strength, or have you reached out? For that supportive perspective that could change everything? Remember, the true mark of a Stoic isn't in silence or solitary suffering, but in knowing when and how to engage the wisdom around us to walk the path with greater ease and understanding. 8. Control of negative self-talk. Remember the first time you crossed paths with someone whose energy felt like a rain cloud on a parade. We've all been there, feeling the weight of someone else's negativity pulling us down. Surprisingly, the way we talk to ourselves when dealing with toxic people can either be our armor or our Achilles heel. Think of your mind like a garden and every thought about yourself as a seed. Planting seeds of strength and resilience helps us stand tall. But sprinkle in doubts and fears and those toxic weeds start to choke out all the good. But that's just part of the story. Walking away isn't always an option and here's where the ancient wisdom of Stoicism steps in. It's not about what happens to us, but about how we react to it. Stoicism enlightens us that true strength is found in our reactions. Thus, when navigating through the turbulence of someone else's negative influence, carefully monitor the conversations you have with yourself. Instead of asking, why do I have to deal with this? Consider pondering, how can I grow stronger from this encounter? It may cultivate resilience, empathy, or the courage to uphold your boundaries. Altering your viewpoint is not merely playing with semantics. It's reclaiming your power. Another tool at your disposal is that little but powerful thing called detachment. Not cold, not uncaring, just wisely choosing where your energy goes. Imagine someone's negative comments as arrows. Now, if your self-worth is an impenetrable shield, those arrows can't touch you. This doesn't mean you won't feel the sting sometimes, but remember, those arrows can only wound you if you let them. So take a moment to reflect, how often do you let external negativity influence your self-talk? Controlling this doesn't mean building a fortress around your heart. It's about knowing your worth, understanding that your reaction is your power, and sometimes simply deciding not to give your peace away. Stoicism isn't about emotionless existence, but choosing which battles are worth your heartbeats. Remember, the only person you really have control over in this life is you. 9. Solution-Oriented Approach Do you ever ask yourself how to handle those toxic people we all inevitably cross paths with? It's like navigating through a dense fog where every step feels uncertain and the air feels heavy. The key here is adopting a solution-oriented mindset rooted deeply in the principles of Stoicism. This approach sets the stage for us to transform these interactions into opportunities for personal growth and emotional intelligence rather than sources of frustration. Flipping the script on toxic encounters requires creativity. It's like playing chess, you need to think several moves ahead, anticipating reactions without becoming emotionally entangled. This means listening more than you speak and responding with calmness, a trait admired by many, but mastered by few. This strategic creativity enables you to maintain your peace and not get pulled into the chaos. Adaptability in these situations is your best friend. It's the ability to remain true to your values while navigating the challenge of interacting with difficult personalities. Imagine you're a tree, firm in your roots, yet flexible in the wind. 
You sway, but do not break when faced with the gales of toxicity. This resilience strengthens your character and equips you with the tools to face any storm. I'm inviting you now to reflect. How do you react when confronted with negativity or manipulation? Remember, the presence of toxic people might not be within your control, but how you respond is. By incorporating a stoic, solution-oriented mindset, you're not just avoiding the pitfalls of negativity. You're actively shaping a life of peace, resilience, and dignity. In the grand scheme of things, it's not the obstacles we face, but how we overcome them. 10. Embracing Growth Mindset Have you ever noticed how some people seem to thrive in the face of adversity, while others crumble under pressure? It all comes down to mindset. Enter the Growth Mindset, a powerful tool for navigating toxic relationships with resilience and grace. Unlike a fixed mindset that views challenges as insurmountable obstacles, a growth mindset sees setbacks as opportunities for learning and growth. When confronted with toxic individuals, those with a growth mindset approach the situation with curiosity rather than fear. They ask themselves, what can I learn from this experience? And how can I use this challenge to become stronger? By reframing adversity as a chance for personal development, they transform negativity into fuel for self-improvement. Furthermore, individuals with a growth mindset understand that their abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and effort. They refuse to be defined by others' opinions or criticisms, recognizing that their worth is not determined by external validation. Instead, they focus on continuous improvement and strive to become the best version of themselves regardless of the negativity they may encounter along the way. So, the next time you find yourself in the company of toxic people, embrace the growth mindset. View each interaction as an opportunity to learn and grow, knowing that every challenge you overcome makes you stronger and more resilient. By cultivating a growth mindset, you can navigate toxic relationships with confidence and emerge stronger on the other side. 11. Practicing Empathy and Compassion in the midst of toxic relationships, it can be easy to lose sight of our humanity and succumb to anger or resentment. However, practicing empathy and compassion offers a powerful antidote to negativity, allowing us to cultivate understanding and connection even in the face of adversity. Empathy involves putting ourselves in the shoes of others and seeking to understand their perspectives, emotions, and experiences. When dealing with toxic individuals, empathy allows us to recognize that their behavior may stem from their own pain, insecurities, or past traumas. By acknowledging their humanity and struggles, we can respond with compassion rather than judgment or retaliation. Compassion, on the other hand, involves extending kindness and support to others, even when they may not deserve it. It means responding to hostility with understanding, offering a listening ear to those who are hurting and choosing love over resentment. While it may be challenging to show compassion towards those who have wronged us, doing so can break the cycle of negativity and foster healing and reconciliation. Moreover, practicing empathy and compassion not only benefits others, but also nourishes our own well-being. By approaching toxic relationships with empathy and compassion, we protect ourselves from being consumed by anger or bitterness and instead cultivate inner peace and resilience. So, the next time you find yourself entangled in a toxic relationship, pause and take a moment to practice empathy and compassion. Seek to understand the pain and struggles of others and respond with kindness and love. In doing so, you not only break the cycle of negativity, but also sow the seeds of healing and transformation, both for yourself and those around you. Thanks for watching.